Oftentimes when we read the Holy Scriptures, there are many powerful statements that we just read as if they're words in a book. The Gospel and the other writings of the Holy Scriptures are not just poetic writings. They're not just religious history. We who are in the church and believe know that the words of Scripture are the words of life. If you can ignore the words of life, you have already died. And if we read the first letter of Peter, chapter 1, 14 to 16, we hear the following. My brothers and sisters, gird up the loins of your mind. Be sober. And place your hope fully on the grace that is going to be brought to you at the revelation of Jesus Christ. Be as obedient children, not conforming yourselves to the former lusts of your life as you were in your ignorance. But as he who called you Himself is holy. You also must be holy in all of your ways. Because it is written, Be holy, for I am holy. How do we miss that? How can so many people throughout the world call themselves Christians? Supposedly, it's somewhere around 2 billion people out of 7 billion are Christians. Uh, how many? 2 billion people out of 7 billion people profess to be Christians. And I would venture to say, if you walked up to any Christians anywhere you would find them in the world, and you asked them, are you a Christian? And they said, yes. And you'd say, well, then what are you as a Christian? How many, including ourselves, would say, I'm holy. Сколько бы из них, включая и нас, ответили бы, мы святы. Yet we are called to be holy. Тем не менее, мы призваны к святости. We are called to holiness itself. Мы к самой святости имеем призвание. And holiness itself is Christ himself. И сама святость, это и есть Христос. We just heard, gird up your loins of your mind. Take your mind and control it. Мы только что услышали, и поясните чесла вашего ума, то есть возьмите свой ум и держите его под контролем. How difficult it is to control our mind. Как же это трудно контролировать свой ум. Every time I hear confession, каждый раз, когда я слушаю исповеди, and someone talks about their struggle of prayer or concentration, и кто-то говорит о своем болении в молитве или в сосредоточении, it's so hard to pray. I can't focus. I can't keep distractions out of my head. I have all kinds of temptations. I'm lustful. I'm angry. I'm judgmental. We have to 
gird up, tie up, strengthen our mind. We can't allow it to roam wherever it wants to go. And we gird it up for action. The action is to follow the Lord Jesus Christ. We've girded up our mind all right to follow the world. Every one of us knows so much about the world that it's so easy to destroy us. We know where every single pleasure is in this world. We could not talk about holy things, but we can talk about horrible things. We know about all the world's politics. We know where all the crime is. We know everything about pornography and obscenities. About all the stimulants that keep us going, drugs, alcohol, every kind of stimulant that's out there. We are lustful pigs who are constantly trying to please our desire of the flesh. Our mind never misses a chance to focus on that which brings us pleasure. And our mind rebels against concentrating on God. We fight against the spiritual life with our mind. And St. Peter says, not only gird up your mind, but be sober. Wake up. Don't waste your life. Because this world will end for everyone. And the eternity that exists within us is being formed for us now. Place your hope completely in the grace that comes to you through Jesus Christ. Don't worry about your jobs, your brains, all the, the social and political nonsense we care about. That will all be gone. Anchor yourself in Christ. And instead of being I'm running my own life attitude it's St. Peter says be like obedient children. Do not allow your life to be formed and conformed and controlled by your former lusts. We're supposed to put that aside with baptism, you know. This former desire for the pleasures and the lusts of this world is part, was due to your ignorance, says St. Peter, that you didn't know otherwise. But now you know. And we're still addicted to them. Like the Holy One Himself who called you, you must be holy in all your behavior. Because it is written, you must be holy, for I am holy.
I had a, a friend who, like me, had gone all the way through Catholic schools as a child. And he got a life after, like, college that had little or nothing to do with God. He stopped going to church. He stopped praying. He didn't put God in his life. And his mother was a wonderfully pious woman who prayed for him all the time. He'd say, Ma, what, stop wasting your time, do something better with your time. I'm very happy the way I am. Don't be praying for me. He went to Las Vegas on a business trip. Used to be popular that businesses would take members of their management to hotels, resorts, and that kind of thing and have the meetings there. Было популярным делом для частных бизнесов, компаний отправлять своих руководителей в гостиницы, на курорты и проводить там встречи. And he, while he was there, и пока он был там, he was a married man. Он был человек женатый. But he and most of the people went to um, a show at one of the hotels. Но но он и большинство из людей пошли на шоу в одном из отелей. Which is one of those uh, reviews that is uh, not suited for anyone, let alone Christians. И это было одно из тех зрелищ, которые не подобают смотреть никому, а тем более христианам. You know, the vulgarity and the nudity and all of that, that's what it was. Вульгарность, обнаженность, и вот что это такое было. And he'd been talking to one of the men that was on this trip as well. И он разговаривался с одним человеком, который тоже там был в Лас-Вегасе. And the man said he had also gone through Catholic school. И этот человек тоже сказал, я тоже прошел, получил образование в католической школе. Do you remember how how strict the nuns were with us? Ты помнишь, как как были строги с нами монахини? And that night they were sitting near each other at the table in this this um, club. И в этот вечер они рядом сидели рядом с друг другом за столом в этом клубе. And the man was uncomfortable with the show. И человек себя не не уютно чувствовал. Then he turned to the man that I knew. He says, I'm leaving. He said, what are you going to tell the nuns when you meet them in the next life? And he said it was like someone dropped the ceiling on him. Для, и он сказал, для меня это было все равно, как если кто-то на меня обрушил потолок. Все, что он узнал, и все, все, все что он получил от семьи о Боге, They flashed in front of him. все это вдруг перед ним промелькнуло. And he didn't enjoy the show. И он, конечно, he stayed. И, конечно, он, ему не понравилось это шоу, хоть он и там остался. И, но он был отвратительным самому себе по этой причине, что он остался. На следующий день он позвонил своей матери. И он сказал, мама, я, я кое-что узнал вчера вечером, я тебе хочу об этом сказать. I thought I didn't believe. Я думал, что я не верил, не был верующим. All the things that I was taught as a child in the church. Все то, чему меня учила в детстве церковь. I thought they were just rules and laws, and I wanted nothing to do with it. Я думал, что это все было были правила и законы, и я ничего общего с этим не хотел иметь. He said it wasn't that I didn't believe. Но это не то, что я не верил. 
I didn't want to believe. Я не хотел верить. Because I wanted to live a different way. Потому что я хотел жить по иному. We know what the truth is. Мы знаем, что есть истина. But we don't want to hear it. Но мы не хотим ее слушать. And we somehow think we can have that and the world as well. И каким-то образом мы думаем, что мы мы можем иметь ее и мир одновременно. You have to follow the Lord. Нужно следовать за Господом. He's the way. Он это путь. There is no other way. И другого пути нет. No other way to life. Нет другого пути к жизни. You can destroy yourself. Ты можешь сам себя уничтожить, погубить. But you will not have what you came into existence for. Но ты не придешь, у тебя не будет того, зачем тебе ты существуешь. The Lord is the only truth. Господь это единственная истина. And you can analyze it and put it out of your head and look at the scriptures and criticize them intellectually. Ты можешь эту истину анализировать и устранять ее из своей головы и смотреть на священное Писание и тоже его анализировать умственно. But it is we who lose when we don't listen to the Lord. Но мы мы теряем, когда мы не слушаем Господа. It is we who do not find the life we are looking for. Мы не находим жизни, которую мы ищем. When we allow the insanity of a world that is unbelieving to occupy our minds, to control our hearts, to capture our soul and keep it enslaved with egoism, nationalism, secularism, humanism, Гуманизм, all the isms that всем, keep us from the way, the truth, and the life. Всеми измами, которые нам не позволяют прийти к пути жизни и истине. What are we going to say? Что же мы скажем? To the Lord. Господу. On the day of judgment. В судный день. He gave us everything, including himself. Он сказ, он дал нам все, включая и самого себя. And we chose the lusts of our corruption. А мы избрали похоти своего падшего состояния. We chose the darkness instead of the light. И выбрали, избрали тьму вместо света. We hear, but we don't hear. Мы мы слышим, но мы и не слышим. And we choose our darkness. И избираем тьму. Be holy. Будьте святы. Because I am holy, says the Lord. Ибо я свят. And the way that we can become holy with the Lord is becoming one with Him. He calls us to Himself. And when we leave all that junk that we think we need, we will be holy as well. Мы тоже станем святыми. We will be free as well. Мы тоже станем свободными.